Uh, day 64. Day 64, yeah. Just kidding, I hope it's not day 64. No, it's not day 64, it's day 46. Oh. And it is a QA day, it is QA number three. So, yeah. Uh, this week, the bulk of the questions were mainly just regarding, you know, Jeremy, how you doing? How you doing, buddy? Uh, I'm doing good, really. To be quite honest, I am doing good. Um, I got nature. I got nature around me. I mean, how could you not be good? Uh, so many people these days, they are just, they stick inside their house and they don't go outside. And... You know, it's like modern society is afraid of Mother Nature. And at one, once upon a time, we as humans, we lived in harmony with nature. You know, nature was our buddy. It was our friend. And, you know, yeah, there's some things out there, you know. In nature, you gotta watch for, but we as a society have to stop being the ostrich or, you know, with our head in the ground, you know. We need to pull it out and just look around and appreciate what we have because life is short. In the grand scheme of things, life is short. But yeah, I'm good. Uh, you know, overheating aside and had to go and seek refuge at a motel for a day. Um, it also allowed me to shower up and uh, do some laundry as well, but you know, so I got to refresh, recharge right there. But yeah, I'm good. And thank you for asking. Uh, the other thing has been Gigi. Asking about Gigi. And, you know, uh, again, thank you for asking about her. She is doing good as well. Uh, the reverse hiccup thing, it only happens about once a day, sometimes twice, maybe three times occasionally, uh, but for the most part, it's only about once a day so far. Um, I have dealt with it in the past because Gigi's daughter dog, who is no longer with us, uh, Jeanne Marie, uh, she had the reverse hiccups, and uh, she had them really bad. Uh, Gigi also had another uh, son dog named Henri and he had the reverse hiccups and uh, basically uh, two different vets both basically say gave the same diagnosis and gave the same solution and that's basically you know um, it's unfortunate but there's not a lot you can really do just try to calm them down you know Get them calm, and then they will relax their breathing because they panic, and it makes it worse. So, uh, because basically, it's their esophagus is collapsing, and when then they panic, and it just makes it worse. So, you pet them, you calm them down, you know, let them know, hey, it's okay, it's okay, I'm here, I'm here for you, and then they calm down and. They go back to normal. So, yeah. So, you know, I thought, you know, well, Gigi's never had them. Uh, she's, you know, maybe maybe she'll be spared having them uh, because it is very common, especially in small dogs, but especially in uh, miniature poodles of the French poodle variety. Um, 
but yeah anyways uh Jacques, uh the actual the daddy dog uh, he was a little tiny toy pool and he had them as well um, but Gigi, who is a miniature poodle, uh, did not. Slightly bigger. Miniature poodles are small, but toy poodles are even small. Anyways, uh, it, it, it sucks, you know, because I feel for Gigi when that happens. Uh, because I do know what it's like to not breathe because I had a lung collapse. Uh, back in the days when I was giving myself a pretty smile with using tobacco, uh, yeah, I had a lung collapse, and uh, was also when I quit using tobacco. Uh, unfortunately, too late um, for the smile bit, but um, but I did, and it collapsed, and it sucked. I lost a whole week of my life. I don't even remember. I remember going into the hospital, them giving me a shot in my back, saying this will only hurt for a minute. And then a week later, uh, my mom was collecting stuff in the room, saying, oh good, you're awake, we gotta check out. What are you talking about? We just got here. No, <laughs> it's been a week. <laughs> What do you mean it's been a week? Yeah, apparently friends, family came to visit. I don't remember. I remember going in and I remember checking out. And that week in between, I just, nothing. No matter how hard I try to think about it, nothing. So, um, yeah. <laughs> So anyway, so this video is kind of getting long, so thanks for your questions. Uh, if you got a new question, uh, drop it in the comments, and I will uh, definitely answer next week in QA number four. But I do also look at the comments and read them and try to respond to everybody. So thanks for watching. Stick around. Click like, subscribe. Hopefully, hopefully... Uh, next week I will have news as far as whether or not the property sale is going to officially actually be happening or not. Because right now it's a cautious good news scenario where uh, they want to wrap up by the August 25th. But I don't actually have anything in writing as of yet to the sale of the property. So, all right. Click like, subscribe, and uh, I'm out.